Well, the Steward Health Hospital continues, saga continues, I should say, with the company's CEO refusing to testify at a Senate hearing. And as Erica Ritchie tells us, some heavy hitters are once again calling him out for it. Well, Senator Ed Markey not mincing any words. Senator Elizabeth Warren getting fiery as well. Here's a little bit about what they had to say to a man they say used the hospitals as his personal piggy bank. Ralph De La Torre is one more rich guy who thinks the rules don't apply to him. He seems to think he's above the law and that he can take whatever he wants and not have to answer for any of the destruction that he leaves behind. You should be held in contempt if you fail to appear. You should be fired from your position as CEO. You should lose your medical degree. Dr. Ralph Del Torre coming under fire for refusing to comply with the subpoena to testify at a Senate hearing next week about the bankrupt Stewart Health. Senator Markey says it was Del Torre's appalling greed, he called it, that caused the hospital group to crumble. Lawmakers on the Senate Health Committee claimed Del Torre owns a $40 million yacht, a $15 million sport fishing boat, as well as a mansion in Dallas, and two jets worth $95 million. Purchases they say he made while the 30 hospitals he owns were drowning in debt. Seven of those hospitals are in Massachusetts, where Governor Moore Healy is also condemning Delatory for dodging the hot seat, saying he should be held accountable. All but two of the Massachusetts hospitals have been bought, including St. Anne's in Fall River and Mort Hospital in Taunton. Those two being scooped up by Lifespan in bankruptcy proceedings. Delatory said he was not going to testify before the Senate until those bankruptcy proceedings were over. But the Senate said no, he did have to show up. And if he doesn't, they plan to hold him in contempt. In the newsroom, Erica Ritchie, 12 News.